Oh yeah, Woodhounds. Oh. Woo. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Oh yeah, okay, hang on here. Here we are. Um, yeah. I gotta make sure that uh, I got this chat set up right because I'm on the, uh, on my phone tonight. Hey, Saw Surgeon. How's it going? All right, I think this thing is working now. What do we got here? Third watch, how are you doing? So, yeah, we're out here in the garage sitting on the, on the, uh, on the old air ride. <laughs> uh, so, here we are, even got a little, uh, some threads on. I gotta make sure I got this chat set right because I don't know. Um, I don't know. This thing is gonna fly by so fast again tonight. So, welcome everyone to Back 40 Friday live stream. We are here out in the garage sitting on the new Coyote CK2610. That's right. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice little ride. I didn't get much of a chance to take it out yesterday because it was raining all day, but... But yeah, today, put it to use a little bit. So, we'll get to all that in a little bit. I just want to know how everybody's doing. Nick Pixel TV! Hey, how are you doing, my man? Amol, are you in here? Like I said, this is, this is going to be crazy because I'm on my phone. So, Greg Popple! Good evening, Greg. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Adam Carter. How are you doing, my man? This, I'm, I'm just going to try to keep up as best I can, but I will say one thing. Um, I know last week there was, <laughs> after last week's live stream, there was some comments um, on the video, but then they got removed somehow. I, I think the person went back and deleted them, or I don't know. But... Uh, they were they were just leaving comments that I didn't acknowledge them in the chat, and so I'm just gonna make this clear tonight on my phone. Um, it's gonna be even harder to keep up with the chat. So if I miss something, and you have something to say or something to ask me, just you know, just say it again, or one of the moderators, if you want, pick it up and uh, let me know. <laughs> But yeah, they were just, uh, and I'm not trying to, you know, um, I'm intentionally, you know, ignore anyone. It's just, it's, it's hard sometimes to keep them up. So Larry Cluck. Hey, Zach. Joe's Firewood's here. Holy moly's. That wood guy's here. My, oh my, we have quite the crew, quite the crew of woodhounds here tonight. Garney. I am not, well, <laughs> I'm not driving, but the little coyote does come with a cup holder. <laughs> chicken man, good evening, chicken man. Isaac, how are you doing? So, that's right, it's time to kick this live stream off the way we always do. Friday nights, put the week behind us. All us woodhounds are here. Just kick back and have some fun. So cheers, Woodhounds, to Friday night. Woo! So yeah, I'm going to be uh, doing a little, I guess, walk around of the, uh, let you guys see, uh, see some of the machine. I will say, however, that, like I said, I'm not, I'm not uh, an expert on any of this stuff yet. I'm still learning everything about it, so... You know, I'll show you guys, give you an overview of it. But as far as like explaining, you know, what everything does, I mean, part of the reason I'm, I'm glad with the community that we have is that I can have you guys tell me what the heck is going on with some of this stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Just because I'm wearing the shirt, the only thing I'm getting good at is... Uh, well, I'm sort of getting good at uh, driving this. 
But if you noticed in uh, yesterday's video, when I pulled up to that wood pile, I like had to lower the bucket. Then I'm gonna have to lower the bucket. <laughs> Forget to lower the bucket. And it's like, I had to lower it down, lower it down, lower it down. Still getting used to that whole uh, leveling rod. Like how to determine where your bucket's at. So, yeah, it's, uh, it takes a little getting used to. Tom Bryan, he's, I, uh, yeah, he's in the house. Somebody's saying, hi, Tom Bryan. <clears throat> yeah, so, I, what was, <laughs> I missed, I missed another chat here. Can I go back on these chats? Oh, I think, oh yeah, all right, all right. Yes, saw surgeon, that is a good tip. But I just have to double check like where, I think when it's all the way down and level, the rod is all the way down. So I don't know, I'll have to, like I said, I just gotta get used to it. Gotta get everything figured out, you know, learning all the, I mean, I've driven the little blue tractor down on the farm with the loader. And you know, it's a little similar. It's just that now that the, the, the uh, loader control is right down here. And so it's a little bit different, but not too bad. Mm. The cup holder is kind of far back there though. Not easy access. <laughs> <clears throat> so also um, the one thing I did want to mention is that uh, coming up, there's going to be, uh, you'll probably start seeing some of this mentioned around on other channels and things, depending on who you all watch and are subscribed to. But um, there's a thing going on called Splitter Wars. And in the middle of April, we're going to have like on that one Saturday, there's, there's I think eight of us that are doing like this collaboration. Not really video, but we're all going to be um, demonstrating our splitters that we use and everybody has like a different one um, and then we're gonna split a face cord or a third of a cord and time it out and then we're just gonna do like an overview of our splitter and so that's gonna be coming up and I was thinking about it today and I went back um, and I started to dig out some of the wood that's around the um, <clears throat> around the splitter and I noticed that <laughs> the splitter is basically completely frozen in the ground. Like there's two inches of ice around the tires. There's uh, a, <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get the, get the splitter out. <laughs> so <laughs> that is something I gotta work on this weekend. And it's supposed to be like, 50 degrees tomorrow and 60 on Sunday. So I'm hoping that I can get all that melted away. I thought I was being clever last uh, fall when I parked the splitter underneath this big canopy of pine trees to keep the rain and the snow off of it. But now when it's warming up, the sun doesn't hit it to melt everything. So, uh, so uh, it comes back to bite me once again. <clears throat> Did I see Merck in here? Is Merck in the house? I think he is. So good evening, Merck. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, uh, so went to the farm show this past week on Tuesday. And uh, <laughs> it was, I was only out there for like half a day. But it was kind of crazy because for every like area that was, had something to do with you know, like equipment or actual farming or whatever. It was basically all like insurance, banks, insurance, banks, all this. It was just, it was crazy. It was, and it was, um, just, there was a lot of people there though. It was a lot of people just walking around, gathering up stuff. And that's where I did pick up a bunch of that stuff that we're going to give away here in a little bit. So if you left a comment on that video, I, uh, I grabbed some whatever you want to call the things that everybody gives away and everybody walks around and gathers. And so I got a couple of those. 
we're going to do that little giveaway in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was pretty fun. Just go out there and see some of that, some of that stuff. That one uh, gold digger, um, like big one big plow wedge. It was like ten feet tall, and I think it's just used for like driving over top of uh, big piles of silage. And <clears throat> you know, it was uh, it was crazy. Oh, Larry Cluck. Oh, saucer. Yeah. Hey, T the T Tramer Tamer is here. Oh yeah. <laughs> swag, Dennis Hayes. Good evening. Are you, are you talking about the swag? All yeah, the stuff we all get. All the swag. There wasn't a lot though. It was. I mean, just basically, you know, like some of that stuff was. There's. I did get one good water bottle. Um. Can cooler. A uh, lot of pens, pencils. So, I just put a little little pack together. <clears throat> and uh, figured I'd just do a little giveaway, have some fun, you know, have some fun. So, uh, so what should we do? Let's see. Should we do the? Uh, should we just do a little walk around here? Let you guys see what's happening. Give you a little view. Hey, Jeff Thomas. <laughs> Jeff Thomas is in the house. The winner of the Van Dusen axes. I hope uh, I hope you're putting them to good use and and getting some of that that wood split up that you had out in there. And thanks again for the uh, for the pictures. Those were pretty awesome. Always great to see the little ones out there holding on, swinging the axes. <laughs> All right, so you ready to go on a walkabout? <clears throat> yeah, if there's any new subscribers. In, in here, um, you know, just uh, pop in and say hi to the rest of these wood hounds. Like I said, I might not see it tonight here because I'm limited on my chat, my chat feed, what they show me. Joe's firewood videos. <laughs> nope, this is actually uh, about one and a half weeks growth. <clears throat> so, about a week ago, I think I got it. What was that? That wood guy, he had some. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's get ready for this walkabout. We'll give you a little tour of, oh, I did come up with a name. <laughs> but it's kind of a, well, I guess you can't really steal a name because if it's used somewhere and you know, <clears throat> But I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. So let me get down and grab this, get this camera off here. All right, so now I'm gonna flip you guys around, I think. I can do that. There we go. All right. So let's just start. Uh, We'll start up here in the front. <clears throat> so there's the old bucket, 66 inch bucket. It's a good size. I like, I like the big, the big wide bucket. Although it was a little tricky getting it in the shed. So there's your front end with the little, uh, the nice little coyote, the little wood hound. <laughs> you know, I didn't even I didn't even realize it till the other day. I'm like, oh my god, a coyote is a hound. We can call that a wood hound. So, this is the uh, I think they call this the industrial tread tires, and the coyote KL4030 loader. Now, the one thing I do know about um, the CK line of tractors is that um, the loader is the same loader on the 25, the 35, and the 40 horse. So no matter what size um, tractor you have, the CK 2610, 3510, or 4010, they all have the same loader. <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons why I, I, I mean, this loader, I think the lift capacity is like 1,800 pounds or something. So that was the big, one of the big selling, selling points 
There's the uh, 2610. And there's uh, there's your dash. Here, wait, let me, um, it did come with the, the floor mat. She's a little dirty. Let me see if I can walk back here and give you guys this view. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, you know, a little instrument, panel, RPM gauge. There's your throttle right down there. Foot pedals, nicely placed. That's one of the big things I really liked. And then there's your loader control. Um, and that's pretty handy, actually, right there in that location. I was a little worried that I wouldn't... Uh... Oh, hang on, hang on. So you can get an armrest right here. And I was thinking I might add that on, but then uh, after, after driving it now, I think having my arm resting down here is actually better to control the loader. I don't know, it just, it just feels good where it's at. But I really like that I don't have to reach like up here for that loader control. And then on the back end here, this is where it gets Interesting. Look at these babies. These tires are, <clears throat> what are they? How does that go? They, they make the rocket world go, rock and world go round, man. These fat bottom girl right here. Look at those big tires. <laughs> they are some, some nice big tires and they do have Right there. The rim guard. And then on the back side here, I do have this folded down to get into the garage. But there is a little like mounting plate right here that I have seen some people put um, like they mount a little toolbox on there. And there's also some little brackets right here for mounting something. But I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I just wanna get like a carry-all, a three-point carry-all. I did get this drawbar put on. And I did find out that having this as high as you can put it is best because when you walk around the corner you don't bang your shins into it when it's up <laughs> the uh the pto cover like comes up uh, so this like lifts up which i guess is kind of nice Yeah, there's the back end, the back end of her. And one thing they did add that they did, that they did add on for me is they, they put this little, uh, I guess, little hose clamp thing around the hydraulic hoses here. So uh, to kind of keep it up, otherwise these just hang here. So they, they mounted that up up there they added that on and got it up so no branches or driving in the woods won't matter <clears throat> i do not have the third function valve on yet um thinking about getting it added possibly though depending on if i just go <clears throat> with uh the forks pallet forks, or if I decide to get a grapple. Yeah, see, actually now that I'm looking at this, this bucket is down pretty level, and this leveling rod is, I'll have to, I'll have to look at that more. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see under the hood. But 
but there's the uh, the air filter, I guess. <laughs> like I said, I don't know, I don't know all this technical stuff here. <clears throat> but yeah, there's the little engine, the little 25 horse, a little 25 horse, three cylinder, and. I think I mentioned this before, but like the main thing with with um, the more horsepower is that you can just go faster when you're like plowing or, you know, I guess running. I don't plan to do like a lot of farm work with it, <clears throat> but for me, the 25 horse was way, was just what I needed. I didn't need much more. And I guess everything that, everything you need to check or ever uh, do service on is all marked in red. So every cap is marked in red, which is kind of a nice little touch. But yeah, that's, that's about it. I don't know if there's anything specific you wanna see. Thank you, Saw Surgeon, yes. <laughs> Richard Healy, no, I did not sleep next to it the first night. Uh-oh, somebody's knocking on the door. Who is it? <laughs> oh, and most importantly, listen to that little Little honk. Here we'll see if, uh, but this is, there it is all lit up. Oh, it's the little boss man coming out. Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> All right. Hey, did I just see someone from Australia? Hello from Australia. Hey, how is it going down under? All right, little boss man <laughs> is going to ride his bike around. Welcome. Yes, Beck, how you doing? From down in Australia, that's... That is awesome. Oh, here, let's, let's see. There he goes. <laughs> the boss man is on here. He's, uh, he said that in a, now that I'm driving this, he's gonna take over the little green machine. So we'll see about that. Mm. Should we, I don't know what I came back up here for. We gotta go over here and do this giveaway. <laughs> oh, we, oh boy. Sorry if I'm moving. Let me set this thing up. I got a... Uh, <clears throat> oh. This is what else the little boss man wants to be driving pretty soon. He's waiting for the snow to melt, waiting for the snow to go away. And then he's gonna be able to get out there and ride, ride his four wheeler. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting, now we're getting a shot. Yes. All right, so let's go through what we all got. Hey, hang on a minute. So yeah, so I got a new bag of our new box of uh, bags in, my firewood bags, filled up some bundles actually today. And I found a new way to load my firewood bags. 
Oh, it's, it's slick. And I'm gonna, sh I got the video ready. It's gonna be out Sunday, but I have a new way to load my firewood bags. And it looks pretty slick. Or it works pretty slick. <laughs> nope, the five gallon bucket is gone. Five gallon bucket's gone. Um, this is a lot better. But, <laughs> hey, what are you doing? On, what are you doing? The boss man's getting into things. All right, so what we all have in this little grab bag. <laughs> Sorry, Jared. How's that? <laughs> Can we, actually, let me move. Whoa, let me. Whoa, let me move this around. <laughs> you crazy woodhounds. Got to see out, there we go. We'll get this right like that. Is that good? Is that good? All right, so what we have in the little uh, grab bag from the farm show, this little thing right here is uh, Hey, Max Air 420, how's it doing? Oh, what's, all right. So, first thing is, we got this little water bottle. This is, uh, I actually had to win this at a booth. I had to uh, do the bean bag toss. I had, had to get two out of three in the horn, or in the, in the horn, in the hole. <laughs> And I was able to do it. Oh, here. Somebody wants me to show you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I got the water bottle. I had to win that. We've got uh, a couple can coolers. One of them's Coyote can cooler. That's going in the prize package. We got some uh, some sunscreen and some lip gloss somewhere in here you ready you want to pull out the name no not of this hang on hang on not, not in here <laughs> i'm throwing it out we got one of these handy little uh cell phone holders so you can stick this on your phone and hold on to it Nope, the names aren't in here. Then we have some pens, a whole bunch of pens. One of them's a uh, cat. And there's this little planner. I think I showed this on the, ooh. Fancy, fancy, fancy. The world uh, time zone map. And then I'm going to throw in um, a little pack of stickers, the Back 40 sticker collection, and a couple coasters. <laughs> and that's it. That's everything in the prize pack. So what I did is I went to the, uh, back to that video and grabbed everybody's name, wrote it down on a little piece of paper right here. All right, we need you to come pull a name. Now, the deal is though, you gotta be present to win. So, I'm gonna mix these up. <laughs> All right, you ready? Pick one out. All right. Let's see if he's here. I don't know. I think I might have seen him. I don't know. Thomas Livingston. Is Thomas Livingston here? I think I may have saw your name fly by. We'll see if Thomas responds. Yes, he's here. You are the winner. 
Right there, Thomas Livingston. Well, you probably can't read my handwriting, but Thomas. All right. If you can go to, um, well, you can either email me at back40firewood at gmail.com or you can go to back40woodhound.com and then on the contact page, you can just fill in your name and your info. Just send me your shipping info and uh, we'll get this little thing packaged up and sent out to you. So congratulations. It was great that uh, <laughs> you were here. I got this from my playhouse, from my sink. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> we might be in for a treat here. Little boss man, what do you got there? A thing for my playhouse. You hook oh. up and the, the water comes He's up. got a water watering can top for uh, his playhouse. Uh-oh, now he's digging in the prize package. Hang on. Don't be messing with Thomas's goods. <laughs> so again, congratulations, Thomas. I will uh, get this put together and sent out to you. If you can, uh, like I said, just um, go either to email me or go to back40woodhound.com and go to the contact page and send me your shipping info. And that's all I'll need. Like I said, it's nothing too crazy. Just some odds and ends from the farm show and a couple of those, you know, the back 40 firewood stickers. That's uh, that's what makes it worth the while right there. Uh-oh, look at now he's, he's, he's digging for something back there. <laughs> Speaking of refreshments, it's time for a reef. Oh my goodness. It's... It's time for a refill as Richard Healy, the crazy wood hound, throws us a super chat. Oh boy. Well, you know what that means. You know what that means, wood hounds. It's time for a team wood hound drink to Richard Healy. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, speaking of gas, <laughs> not that I have any, but I haven't gotten any gas <clears throat> for this thing yet, but I saw a post about, I know these cans completely suck, but apparently there's like a vented, like something down in here that really makes like the gas foam a lot. Like, have you guys experienced that? <clears throat> oh. This one, I just jumped on and I bounced oh. and it worked. But I guess you can't get them out. But uh, <clears throat> but yeah, there's like a, a strainer inside there. And and somebody was telling me that when you fill these things up with diesel, that like gets real foamy. So I was just wondering if any of you guys ever had any experience with that or what you do for getting your gas. Because I'm going to get some tomorrow. Uh oh. <laughs> and now. For your entertainment, an impromptu demonstration of a pogo stick. <laughs> All right, hang on. Ready? <laughs> All right. Now I can almost do this by myself if you let go. Let's show them what. It... Pogo stick. But I want to show you something on the video. <clears throat> oh, you want? No, you'll fall over. Oh! 
There you go. You never know what's going to happen when you're live. Unfiltered. <laughs> Unscripted. Yeah, I don't know what, what it is with the, with, the, um, with the diesel and the foaming and those jugs, but yeah, I, that's all I heard is that like, when you fill up those, those jugs, it gets real foamy or something. So, Ross Goldsmith. Hey, I think, were you the guy that was at the farm show the other day on Tuesday? Did you leave me a comment on that? Yes. Yeah, it's too bad I missed you, man. I, uh, I, I must have like left right after you got there. So, oh well, maybe next time. Did I get a set of rear hydraulic remotes, Garney? No, not yet. I'm, I gotta go back and watch this chat now about all this stuff with those. Um, what's the upgrade kit for the gas cans? What is, what's that? I gotta, that's what I gotta, I gotta figure out the best way to, I know, um, I know uh, what, Adam from Hometown Acres has like this little um, <clears throat> uh, siphon tool that like is battery operated and you just, he just sets his can up on the fender and then it siphons the gas into the tank. So, all right, so yeah, okay. So if I just fill it slow, cool, all right. <clears throat> Yeah, I know these gas cans, they really suck as far as emptying them and pouring it out. So I'll have to see what, uh, what I'm going to end up doing with that. I know T, the tree tamer, told me to get like um, some little portable filling station or something. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> the name of the tractor. <laughs> so first of all, do we have any um, Game of Thrones fans in here? Anybody watch the Game of Thrones series when it was on? So if you did watch Game of Thrones, well, I watched Game of Thrones like just recently. <laughs> so I just started it last uh December after Christmas and so one of the characters names from that series Game of Thrones that I started calling this little beauty was Khaleesi Khaleesi the coyote the queen of the woodyard <laughs> so that is the name of the little orange machine is Khaleesi <clears throat> The Dragon Queen. That's right, Emil. <laughs> I was kind of debating whether or not I should call her the Queen of the Woodyard because Mrs. Back 40 might get a little jealous and worried about that. But, but yep. So, oh, Jared Hildebrandt. All right, my friend. Have a good night. <clears throat> so, the coyote is Khaleesi. But I don't know if I'll be like referring to her that much. How do you spell that name? It's K-H-A-L-E-E-S-I. So every now and then in a video, if you, uh, if you hear me say something about Khaleesi, that's what, that's what I'm referring to. <laughs> Yeah, I think outside with Shive is gone. Um, I know Ronan couldn't make it. So, that's right. Oh. <laughs> that is right, Saw Surgeon. Why? You know, that's the thing that is crazy, is that I was just thinking about this, actually, today like everybody um 
all these different channels now and all you guys that put out videos, <clears throat> you know, I find myself at night like just going by and I go from one video to the next channel to the next channel to the next video. It's like I'm thinking I'm going to be cutting off my direct TV because I don't even watch it anymore. It's like too much to watch right here. YouTube is taking over. I mean, I might keep it for like the whatever basic package. So I get like the local channels and the sports for when the Packers are on. But, but yeah, there's like too much going on. <laughs> we are cutting into Joe's channel time. That's right, Daniel Atkins. <clears throat> and then the thing that's the thing I just don't understand about, not to get completely off topic here, but like Direct TV. So you sign up for it, and the first year they give you the best price that they can give anyone. And then after that, the longer you're with them, the more you pay. It should be the longer you're with them, they should give you a better deal. It's like ridiculous. It's nuts. I just, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, with all you guys putting out content, like I said, I think I might have to look into downgrading. Downgrading the old direct TV. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much all I need is like the local news, local weather. <clears throat> oh man, this stuff is flying by. <laughs> yeah, you can switch. That's a good point, Chicken Man. You could switch every two years. But then I think they charge you for like sending back the receivers. So Adam, Carter, any ideas the, for attachments? Well, the one thing is... And I'm, I might be, um, I know Jared Hildebrandt just left, but uh, Garney, some of you guys that have, uh, I might be needing to pick your brain on some three-point hitch attachment, you know, like where, because I don't even know where, like the best place to go and like get one of those, or if I should even get a quick attach. I'm thinking I should because... You know, that way, if I did want to take it off, I could take it off. Like, I basically just want a, like, a carry-all. But I don't want it very high. Like, I want to be able to look back over my shoulder, see what's going on behind me. Um, and I kind of want it to basically serve as, you know, I've got my one big toolbox. I've got my saw, my bar loom, my gas can, you know, everything. My axe, my maul, you know, all the stuff that I take with me out when I go back to the wood yard even. Like, I just want to be able to have something I can throw it all in. And maybe if I needed to haul some wood with. Um, Woodhound Sr. does have a, a uh, little attachment. Um, a rock, rock bucket for the back. So, <clears throat> I know, um, so I don't know if like. If it pays to like just get like a three point um, quick attach and then build on onto that, or I don't like I said I just don't know. So I'm gonna be I might be sending you guys some some emails or messages and picking your brain, getting ideas. But uh, yeah, that's basically I think all I'm gonna do with the as far as attachments for the back um, for the front. Probably the next thing I'll look into is just some pallet forks because I do have, uh, you know, a lot of pallets to move around. So, and I thought about the grapple, but once I get everything cleared out back there, like, I don't know if I'll have a lot of brush, you know, like I don't have a lot of my, I mean, there's like maybe about a little over an acre back there. So I don't know if I'm going to need to like be doing a lot of, I don't know, grapple. I mean, if, if I did get some logs and I had forks, I could lift the, you know, the, the logs up with the forks. Although uh, I don't know if, I think Rodation Ridgeback is in here. 
the crazy Canadian woodhound up there. He's got a pretty sweet setup with his pallet forks that are actually grapples on the pallet fork. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, I mean, yeah, there's all kinds, you know, but that's the one thing that, um, that was crazy with the, uh, at the farm show is that there was only one booth that dealt with attachments with like, for like loaders or skidsters or anything like that. So I was kind of, I was kind of hoping there'd be a little bit more, you know, <clears throat> like people showing off, you know, like front end attachment, back end attachment. I don't know. Was that outside with Shib? Is he here? Outside with Shib is here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yeah. I. Uh... Oh, no problem, Shib. No problem. Better late than never. You know, it doesn't, it's all good, my friend. It's all good. But I did, uh, so <laughs> I do have a bunch of uh, like smaller brush piles in the back. And so like tomorrow I'm going to be back there moving that, trying to move that stuff around. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, God, maybe I, I should have just got some pallet forks right away because with the forks I could, re you know, poke into that pile of brush, lift it up, knock the snow off, move it over in a spot and I'm going to start burning it. So tomorrow I'm going to be burning and we'll see if I can move it around with the bucket. I mean, if not, the other thing is, is I went to the Galdang farm supply store and I wanted to get, um, for the, for the bar, the draw bar, I wanted to get a, like a chain hook so I could hook the chain into it, you know, and pull out those logs that I cut down, but they didn't have any. So now I don't know what I'm going to do because I wanted to pull a few of the, 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 that one dead poplar and a couple of those pines. I do. Yeah, actually, I did get the clevis, but I suppose that would work for the chain. I just got to hook it a little short or something. I'll, I'll figure it out. All of my pallets. Um, I get them from my brother-in-law. <laughs> He owns a trucking company and every like every two months or so he has to haul um, a load of <clears throat> barrels of fish oil and they build like the pallets that I have they build them just for hauling these they, each pallet holds four 55 gallon drum barrels. So once they haul the fish oil barrels down to wherever they're going, for whatever reason, they can't use those pallets again. So he has to get rid of the pallets. So all, anytime he like, he'll get a whole bunch of pallets built up and then I'll go down and fix them up, bring them back. And yeah, I've, I've probably have, I don't even know how many I've gotten over the years. It's a lot. <laughs> I actually built, um, I used to have from our house all the way back to the, the fire pit, I had a, a, like a little boardwalk, a little path built with pallets. And then I had the whole deck area back there made out of pallets. So <clears throat> I've since replaced it, <laughs> but so now I'm using those pallets for storing wood and, and, uh, they work great though because the uh, the top of the pallet is made out of two by material, so it's two by sixes on the top. So it's it's thick. You know they don't they don't break through after two years if you step on them. Like that two by six isn't going to break, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> yeah, it's I used to go around and and gather pallets from like all different places around town here just. You know, I'd see some like by the furniture store, I'd pick them up. I'd see some um, laying around grocery stores. But then it got kind of, like I said, I mean, some of those pallets, 
once you, uh, once you step on them, or once they get like two or three years old, the little one by material on the top, you step on that one by four, psh, breaks through, and then you gotta just burn it. Throw it away, it's just junk. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a good uh, IH farmer is here. <laughs> oh, that's not good when you forget it's Friday. Friday is like kicking off the weekend. Yeah, that's the other thing is the nails. I know it's, but that's why I like these. These big heavy-duty ones because they uh, they don't you know they don't break down too much so you don't get those nails. LS Junior, I am having Mr. Henry Morgan is what's in the glass. A little bit left. What do we got here? Oh, we got eight and a half minutes. <laughs> so yeah, you can see over there, little green, big orange. <clears throat> little green is a little, she knows that she's still got a place around here, you know, mowing the lawn and such. <clears throat> Oh, uh, the little green machine, little green machine. Hey, all right, Jeff, have a, uh, I got, what, what did you just say there? All right, go put that Van Deusen to work. That's right. Just watch out that you don't, watch your overstrikes. <laughs> overstrikes and understrikes, well, understrikes don't matter, but the overstrikes, that's how I busted that one axe. Well, have a good weekend, Jeff. Thanks for stopping by on this Friday night, Woodhound. Yes. Souther, that is right. Tomorrow night, we lose an hour of sleep, but overall, we gain daylight. <clears throat> TCS carry-all frame. Oh, okay, yeah, Garney, is that what that, that's what I was wondering, because I think um, Adam from Hometown Acres did that. Hey, good night, Ross, have a good night, my man. Have a good weekend. Oh, Chris, it was uh, Tom, Thomas Livingston won the drawing. That wood guy, we'll see you later. But uh, yeah, so that's what I think Adam from Hometown Acres is. He, he's like, he bought that quick attack, that frame that like was built for, uh, you know, it had the holes we could just put in the tree of the lumber. The only thing is I was wondering about is that instead of just using the wood, if it might be better to like, I don't know. Well, maybe I will start with that. Just get some uh, treated lumber, put that back there, and then maybe like some, uh, put in some attachments to like slide, you know, like a shovel and like an ax holder and put that around the edges. Maybe like one of those uh, saw, <clears throat> saw carrier things. Ah, oh, pallet on it. That is a good idea. <clears throat> that is a good idea, Garney. This is, this is what I'm talking about, Garney. That's what I need to hear. Now my wheels are turning. Because, yeah, the pallets. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I should get that. Uh, the big. Yeah, I, I thought about checking out that big tool rack. But I don't know. I've heard. I've heard a lot of people like them. And I've heard a lot of people think that or like say they're kind of. I don't know, they, they're good if you're like driving around and need a whole bunch of, uh, you know, tools and stuff, but not so much for like hauling wood or, I don't know, 
they don't really like add a lot of weight in the into the back end. So I think somebody, I don't know who, somebody might have said on here that the big tool rack is kind of not that, not that great of a uh, attachment. Oh yeah, Chris, I've I've seen. I've seen his channel. I've, I've seen what he's got. That's kind of what I was thinking. It's something like that. But like I said, I want to kind of make it, you know, um, where it's kind of more of a multi-purpose, like more for like carrying everything around back there. Because I mean, as far as hauling wood, like in it, I don't know if I would really need to haul, you know, split wood. Um, because I can use the bucket for that. So, <clears throat> yeah, the box play, that's a good idea for yard cleanup. <laughs> yeah, there's so many, so many things and so many, but the nice thing is that, I mean, it won't be that, uh, there won't be that much for me to really, like I said, mostly moving around, you know, wood, whether it's rounds or splits, TCS carryalls. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back and watch this again and take notes on this. Nathan Ruff's here. Hey, good evening. No problem being late. We're just uh, hanging out with the old coyote. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, a landscape rake. Yeah, I think I have seen one of those. That. I mean, it would be, you know, like I said, with anything, I mean, I'm just finding out all the uses for this bucket. Like today I was using it as a little table platform for loading my firewood bags. And then, yeah, it's, it's just crazy. All the different ideas that you get and the gears start turning. <clears throat> so, um, Tom Bryan. Yeah, I don't know about the brush hog. Um, yeah. I don't know if I would use it that much just because, like I said, I mean, back there, I like up here, I only have probably um, a little, maybe an acre. But, you know, like down on the farm, obviously. I got, yeah, I'm going to have to, these, uh, when I'm doing this on my phone, like Joe said, it sucks because the stuff flies by so fast and it doesn't stay on the screen. I wish they would change that. I think they are. I hope they do. But, so we'll see. I'm gonna give it, you know, like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna be back there doing a bunch of cleanup, seeing how, I, I mean, once, once it starts to thaw out, I think I'll be able to just, uh, push stuff around easier with the bucket and I don't know if I'll really need the grapple too much but of course when I say that now you know ask me again in two weeks and I'll be like oh I need a grapple because <laughs> <clears throat> the way ah yeah saw surgeon the problem with the iPad is that the little boss man needs it all the time. <laughs> I used to actually, when I first started doing videos, I made them with the iPad. But then, since then, he's taken over the iPad and has claimed it for himself. But yeah, maybe I should. I wonder though, does the iPad's camera, is it an HD camera? That's what I don't know. I'll have to see. Otherwise, I could, I suppose, just have it on the side here playing Fleet Farm. Oh, well, I went to, um, I went to Farm and Fleet, and they didn't, they didn't have anything up here. But maybe I should go to Fleet Farm. Is that, but Saw Surgeon, does, is that depend, I think I have an older model iPad. I don't know if it has the, uh, 
<clears throat> if it has the good camera. <laughs> That's right, Dennis. He takes over. I just realized it's almost, uh, we're over an hour and I don't even have a beverage to send this off and close this out with. So I'm gonna have to mix one up here. Oh yeah, I think the newer, I think the newer generation iPads, I think they do have a better camera. <clears throat> ah, the Wicked Tooth Bar. Mmm. Say. All right, so again, congratulations to Thomas for winning the little farm show prize package. <laughs> and thanks for everybody for uh, tuning in tonight. Uh, well, well now, see, now I just lost that message again. Garney was saying something. <laughs> and um, thanks, for the, uh, thanks to the moderators for keeping things nice and tidy in there. Because with these chat messages flying by, I would never be able to keep up with control, making sure no, no one's uh, getting out of control. So yes, everybody, hope you enjoyed the, the live stream tonight. A little something different out here in the shop, or in the garage, not really the shop, with the, uh, with the little coyote, Khaleesi, the little coyote. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Y'all have a good weekend. Take care, or stay safe, <laughs> have fun, be cool. You know the rest. Cheers everybody. Have a good night. Now I gotta figure out how to shut this thing off on my phone. <laughs> no problem Thomas, make sure you get me your, uh, your shipping info. All right. Stay safe, have fun, be cool, woodhounds. <laughs>